Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a rapid build guide for our boy Venti, the Tone Deaf Bard. Catch you in a second. So first things first, we're going to be looking through his talents here. Um, we've got his Divine Markmanship, this is his basic attack, a 6 shot combo with relatively standard ratios for a bow user. You have the aim shot imbuing your arrow with animo damage. This can cause a swirl and obviously you've got your plunging attack. Your skill here, Skyward Sonnet. This creates a small AoE of animo damage launching enemies into the air um, and holding this will target the AoE around Venti launching enemies into the air and Venti um, is the skill ratios for this. It's on a short cooldown and it does a long, uh, a lot of damage. It's on a short cooldown for the short press and a long, slightly longer cooldown for the hot, for the hold press. We've got Venti's burst here, Wind's Grand Ode. Venti fires off an arrow. This creates essentially a animo black hole similar to the Traveler, um, but this one stays still. Uh, the element, if the Storm Eye here comes into contact with Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, or Electro, it will absorb that element and it will deal damage of that type, swirling it around all the enemies. This does a lot of dot damage over time, has a long duration, works as a great form of CC, has a relatively short cooldown and low energy cost, and it even gets lower than this. His first passive, Holding Skyward Summit, creates an up current for that lasts 20 seconds. This is on his E when you hold it. Uh, his, next, his next passive is Storm Eye. Regenerates 15 energy for Venti after the effect of Wind Grand Ode End. If, this, if an elemental absorption occurs, this also restores 15 energy to all characters of the corresponding element in the party. So this means that when Wind Grand Ode picks up an element, as we mentioned here, Hydro, Pyro, Pyro Cryo, Electro, it will then give all party members of that element energy, um, essentially making him a good like alt machine. His passive here for the party decreases all party members gliding sound consumption by 20%. This is the same as Amber and does not stack. Next we have Venti's Constellations. Uh, first one fires two additional arrows per aimed shot. Second we've got Skyward Scomet now decreases enemy animo resistance by 12% for 10 seconds. Additionally enemies launched by Skyward Sonnet suffer an additional 12% animo resist and physical resist while airborne. Uh, Wind's Grand Ode gains three levels and has a max cap increase. When Venti picks up an elemental orb or particle, he receives a 25% animo damage bonus for 10 seconds. Skyward Sonnet gains three levels and a three level maximum increase. And his sixth constellation here, targets who take damage from Wind's Grand Ode have their animo resistance decreased by 20%. If an elemental absorption occurs, then their resistance towards the corresponding element is also decreased by 20%. All of this combined creates all of this combined means that Venti becomes a insane sub DPS, um, essentially shredding tons of armor, loads of CC, loads of swirl damage, probably the best sub DPS in the game right now. And that's how we're gonna build him. In terms of the stats we're gonna be using for Venti, uh, as I just said, he is a sub DPS, so we're gonna be looking for attack stat. We're gonna be looking for lots of elemental mastery as this increases his swirl damage, slow this attack. Um, slight bit of crit rate, crit damage is okay. Energy recharge is good. And we're gonna be looking also for animo damage bonus. All of those will make any Venti a god tier sub DPS. In terms of weapons, for my free-to-play players, I recommend using the, if you're going to be using a three-star weapon, I recommend the Raven Bow. This is because of the secondary stat on this being Elemental Mastery, which is what you're using for. It does also have the passive of increased damage against Hydro and Pyro for 12 up to 24%, which could be useful if you're using those in your comps. So in terms of your four-star bow, I recommend using the Stringless. This gives a secondary stat as Elemental Mastery, which we were looking for here. Uh, increases it has the passive of Ele Arrowless Song, increases elemental skill and elemental burst damage by 24 up to 48%, which is pretty bonkers on Venti. In terms of other four-star options, I recommend either Sacrificial Bow or the Viridescent Hunter from the Battle Pass. In terms of your five-star options, I'm going to be recommending the Skyward Harp if you want to use it. This has the secondary effect of crit rate and increases crit damage by 20 to 40 percent and hits have a 60 to 100 percent chance of inflicting a small AoE attack dealing 100 percent physical damage, attack damage 
This can occur once every four seconds. So now we're gonna have a quick look at Venti's artifacts. So in terms of my early game players, we have the flower and the feather. They have main stats that will never change. So HP and attack it is. In terms of your uh, timepiece, cup and headpiece, we're looking for attack, elemental mastery and animo damage in whatever combo you're given. Early on in the game, uh, on Venti, I recommend using one of these three combos of sets. So we can go two-piece Exile or Scholar, giving us 20% energy recharge for that more often use of his ults. We can go two-piece Instructor set for the 80 Elemental Mastery, or the four-piece for when a swell will happen, it will increase all el party element mastery by 120. If we can't, if we're not using any of those, Braveheart, Resolution of Sojourner, or Gladiator's Finale all work as well as a two-piece for the 18% attack stat. And for those of you who have reached level 40 and are now farming for your 5 star sets from the domains, I cannot recommend Viridescent Veneer any higher. This is a 15% animo damage increase and increases all swell damage by 60% and decreases opponent's elemental resistance to the element infused in the swell by 40%. This is bonkers on Venti. Um, if you do not want to run this, or for some reason you're running not elemental teams, the Noblesse Oblige also works as well. This will increase your Elemental Burst by 20% and using Elemental Burst increases all party members attack by 20% for 12 seconds. So here I demonstrate Venti's ability Skyward Sonnet, that's the skill, to spread Electra around these enemies and deal damage to him. Here you see a... Here you see his combo attack also. And then this small clip, I am demonstrating Venti's, Venti's burst ability, Wind's Grand Ode, in order to spread fire around this large elite enemy and hold it in place. See how much CC this causes, even on larger enemies. If you have found this useful, a subscribe would be wonderful.